Hey everyone, and welcome to part 13 of our Blinds playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. In the last episode, we did, just like I was hoping, we did move on to the Shell 2 core, um, and which is where we currently find ourselves um, in, uh, I guess, like the flooded B1 area, I guess we'll say, where I've been looking for the level 4 or, I guess, level 5 key card. I could swear that Stillman said that he had a level 5 key card on him, and we found his body, so it felt like it should be around here somewhere. Um, I could not find it anywhere where he was, so I started backtracking, and look what I found. The freaking Nikita! It's right here! And he doesn't want to grab it. He's It's going through him, but he doesn't want to grab it. Oh, I'm almost dead, too. I have to get out of here. Let's get back to some air. But yeah, apparently, um, apparently that isn't... Like, that level 4 door is just something we're supposed to remember. So I jotted it down for our future, uh, our future exploration. Like, places we will have to backtrack at some point. We have a few places that we that we uh, need to remember. There are two level five doors that we're aware of. One of them is on the uh, the L strut connecting bridge, I guess I'm, I'm gonna call it. And then the other one is back in the parcel room, which I'm not even sure if we can, if we can go there. Like, I'm not really sure if, uh, if we're ever going to be able to go back there, but it's, it stands to reason that we would. And then we have that level four one down there. So I guess, I guess we'll just have to wait. So yeah, here we here we find ourselves over. Oh, you know what? Let's. There's a thing over here we can get, isn't it? God, just chuck it, man. Jesus. The telegraphing, like the, it says, his his throwing of that thing is has like choreography. <laughs> it's like just throw it. All right, so uh. Oop. So there's that. Was there another one? I feel like I saw other. This is so calm, right? Oh, okay, maybe it was that. I didn't... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so... In the simulation, they showed us here. But there's another one over there. I wonder if... I guess maybe we'll do one and see how it, go, how it, how it pans out, and then we'll do the other? Is this, like, one also where you have to be, be careful of this thing? Like, it'll, uh... Oh! Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'll just tap left and right so that we don't go too fast. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, there's a way that way. Oh, and then there's this. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Damn it. All right. So that so there's only one way to go that way. So that's that's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Try and get back there. Oh. All right. So and there's not there's nothing on the left, right? Yeah, closed. Oh. What is that? Oh. Uh Oh no! Stop it! Am I gonna blow him up? Oh, uh, this way? Jesus! Why did he like? He runs away from it, I guess. I don't. Is he gonna? Is he gonna like? He better not. I guess I get game over if I kill him, right? Dang it! Oh, they even said don't kill the president. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Let's see if this idiot can. Managed to not get himself killed. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? I, th this is clearly what I need to do. What are you doing? I'm just gonna go for it. Did I kill him? Yeah, that, I figured that. I was thinking like a small panel, not like a huge one, but okay. There seems like another way to go there. Let's try that. Let's see. If this could be maybe some more fun to be had here. Oh God. Oh yeah, I almost hit that wall. And so it was this way. And then over here, yeah. Oh, we're running out of time though. What is that? It was that room. And how about this one? Oh! Oh, cool, okay. Uh, dead end, there was a, a right over there. Uh, uh, is this? Did we go in a big circle? I think to the left is where we... Yeah. Oh, Stinger. Oh, oh, and we're here again. Okay, 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 so we... There's two ways into that room, that's all. Oh, man. Do we have to be careful here, or...? Use a lot more of those than I, I actually wanted to, but. Oh. 
Oh man, I forgot to mention also, like, so this is the president, but isn't Solidus the president? President Johnson. And, and should I not be saying that? Because technically they only told us that so at the end of one. So here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. But... What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. Oh, so he's... What are you... Hmm. What the... The hell is that? You're a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Huh? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. That's how he... Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> what? Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have hmm. managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. What? But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? Hmm. No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. Okay, so... I wish to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots. Oh, I figured he was one of them. Even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, 
a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle. Panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? Huh. My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. Huh. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots <clears throat> saw fit to entrust with the presidency. And that's why they call him president. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. Or when revolver. acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right, Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? <laughs> the Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-metal gears are guarding a metal gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. 
In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriot's trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. Masolidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. Oh. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. That's where we were. Cut transmission and get moving. Well, give me the level 4 keycard, man. I need it. This is card four. There it is. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Nice. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, shell one core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Yeah, right. They're probably This is probably going to activate it like they did last time. They love doing that, don't they? Well, I've told you everything you need to know. All right, let's go. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Oh. Okay. He thinks he's gonna kill him? So that... Now, kill me. What the...? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Mm. Cut it out! Mm, cut it out, dude. Do it! That's her role! Pull! No! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that... Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. 
This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> the machinery in here sounds like a dryer zone. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Let's uh Oh wait. Can we No? Is that nothing on him? No, come on. Let's hide him over here. This was not, re not really any. I said hide him, mostly kidding around. There's no reason to hide him. I'm just. No? Because he. I, I thought maybe, maybe dog tags or something. It never occurred to me to flip them over to see if maybe it speeds up the process that you, you search them with. Like, maybe you don't have to do it as many times if you do that. And I can't go in there, right? How would we get that stinger? Colonel, the president is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Where do we go from here? Your mission was to rescue the president and eliminate the terrorist threat. However, given the recent turn of events, we will honor the president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice. The Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. Oh my what about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. Raiden, we're running out of time. Find yeah. Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1 in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the president didn't sacrifice his life in vain. <clears throat> Understood. Raiden, out. I'm not sure why he had to think about it. Like, I mean, we have... What's your status, ah, Raiden? I was about to call him Snake. anyway. The president, he's been assassinated. <laughs> what? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. Mm. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Mm. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. The disc we or have. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several <clears throat> websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. 
Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So he betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. Ocelot then sank the tanker, along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Otacon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. Mm -hmm. Small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn in their side. Hence, they attacked the dummy tanker and stole Ray. They followed this up with a perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it, then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal Gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich? And his daughter, Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. <clears throat> We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Oh, Wait so they second. know she's here. Isn't Emma Emrick My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. I'm on my way. Did he say it was neural AI? I have to watch that back. It, it makes sense if it, neural AI, because they they that would make if they had neural AI, then they could have the uh, they could essentially give the um, the Metal Gears like I, I, I want to say sentience, but it, it would make them be able to control themselves and make their own decisions. Like it would. They wouldn't need to be piloted. Or maybe even they would set up a neural link to the pilot to make sure that they, oh, wasn't there already a neural link or something like that? I forget. Just in case, because I know they're gonna get me at some point. Like, so when you pilot it, you don't have to like push buttons. It just, no, it like, it, it becomes an extension of your body. Which would be pretty cool. Almost like a, like a Xeno Gears kind of thing. All right. So let's hop back down here. This has been a long episode in, in terms of uh, uh, cutscenes and things like that. Like very story heavy. Okay, let's, uh, oh, you know, I didn't need to do that. I guess I could go this way. I'll make it to the next one. Oh, wait. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Otacon. What's your situation? 
wet and miserable. This place is flooded. Oh. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. Oh, what? shit. <laughs> yeah. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that EE e. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived <laughs> your deal. I just had a yeah, funny thought. That but my we father were. didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. EE e. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is... I betrayed her. Oh, so she's mad? Do you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, she I think She can swim, so. but she has a phobia. So I got a letter from Julie, like, goes her mother, after they it. moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore. Oh. That she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn. If she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. Okay, fine. Let's go. Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, this cutscene is like that you assumes I haven't already been through here. Into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Raiden. I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. Cool. I'll do that. Okay, so wait, which way am I going? I'm going this way? Oh, that's right. I kind of wanted to, uh, did I ever go this way? Like, I think I thought in my head that these were connected. Oh, yeah, there's something here. Please get it. Night vision goggles. I'm assuming that is anyway. Cool, I'm glad I checked. Oh, shoot. I was so busy, like... Trying to make my way through that. I guess I just missed all this stuff. Dang. Okay. And it's this way. And this way. And this way. And this way. Up here, get some oxygen. Oh, that's the wrong way. I think if I go this way, it should be pretty quick, right? I've been through here before, so I remember. Okay. There's probably going to be one more cutscene. If she's in here, there's going to be another cutscene here. I guess I'll just get that out of the way, too, while we're at it. Ticking, huh? Oh man! And I can't uh, pause. Hell had no vacancies. He's like Queen, where he kind of like wants to die but can't, I guess. Oh, he's just running water. He can also stand on it. Just ahead. 
She is of no use to us now. But she served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. He thinks we killed I him. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? This is no ordinary nuclear bomb. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics to generate heat insulated compression. It was a top secret project initiated by the current president, and Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers responsible for the mass murder of civilians as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane? We might be the only ones telling the truth. Uh oh. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. Uh -oh. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. That isn't seawater, you know. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Oh. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. <clears throat> Show me what you've got. Oh man, what do I want to do? Should I do it now? What, how many, let's see how much time we have. 37 minutes. Oh man. Oh gosh. I think I'll wait till next time. I wanna I wanna get like two more episodes out today. So like this will maybe the next episode will be where we we have this. We clearly we have another boss fight. Something tells me that we're not this is not where this is gonna end anyway. A lot of these bosses seem to um like something happens and then we move on. Or at least with Vamp it has been and and Queen sure as well, it seems. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I always appreciate it. And please like and subscribe if you like the video. I'm gonna see you guys next time where we're gonna take on Vamp. Presumably not for the not for the last time. I I, I do again. I do get the feeling that this is gonna um this is this will be just a fight before we uh like maybe he like retreats and then we fight him again. But um but it, we'll we'll see how this goes. <laughs> the boss fights in these are always kind of cool. So it'll be a fun one to do for the next one. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you next time. Take care.